good, everybody? It's still Black Darius. We got a live sit-down interview with Milo Films. What's the deal, everybody? Welcome back to another Milo Films sit-down interview. Today we got Stead Black Darius in the building with us. What's, up, what's, what's the deal, Stead Black? What's up, man? I'm good. How you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. Talk about it, bro. So, like, me and you, I've been knowing you for a good little minute already, bro. Yeah. So, talk about it, bro. Like, uh, you rap. What, what? What? That's all you do? You just rap? What? Uh, what? You know, I'm trying to start like a clothing business. You know, I'm trying to, I got a heat press machine, trying to make clothes. Okay. To make logo, stuff shit, like that. so you doing merch and shit like that too, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah, basically. Okay. Talk about it, bro. What, what made you want to start rapping? You know what I mean? Well, I don't know. Like, when I was little, I just used to always, like, every time I hear a beat, I used to be, like, just rapping. Just saying dumb stuff. And then towards, like, middle school, I started trying to rap, but I was, like, so trash. So I stopped for a little bit. Then in high school, that's really when I came back. And I, I started taking it serious because I feel like I was good at that point. Yeah, you hit the scene. Yeah. You hit the scene. Yeah. All right. And um, and so your name, your name holds way to it because you know it's Stead Block. Yeah. You know Homestead. Yeah. So talk about it, bro. You know being from Homestead, you know Houston, Texas, bro. You know how's that like? You know what I mean? There's yeah. a lot of big names from Homestead. You know what I mean? All right, all right. And you know it's like it's crazy just being from Houston in general because you know. People out of state, they always think we are like so country and stuff. And now I'm always like, nah, we're not even really like that. But you know, some people is like they ride horses and stuff. But if you go out, like if you were to go to like a western state, I mean not a western. If you were to go to like a, a state out in the west or a state out in the east side, yeah. you know, your 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 slang, your you know, the way you talk is gonna be, you know, cu country to them. Ah, uh, I see, I see. You know that? Yeah, I feel you. But it's kind of stereotypical, you know. Cause you know we say y'all right, and they right. say you all yeah, I hear and still, you know little stuff like that. Right. But like uh, so talk more about your name, bro. Stead Block Darius. What was the inspiration behind that? Oh yeah, well you know, Homestead, Stead Block, Cynic Wood. It's just where I'm from. I want to know. I want everybody to know where I'm from. You know, Stead Block, Homestead, and like you putting that shit on your back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. Really, I'm trying to put us on the map. You know, let Dirk and King run. They got old black and stuff. You know, I want Stead Block. So you probably put, yeah, I feel you. And everybody okay. treat your old block like a tourist attraction. All right, and you just mentioned King Von and Lil Dirk. Is that like an inspiration or because, you know, um, you just mentioned their block and your block and whatnot. Is that kind of like an inspiration or whatnot? Sort of, kind of like, not like rapping inspiration. I mean, I like King Von style a little bit, but like, it's just the way how they got their own block put up and everybody want to go there and stuff like that. And everybody just want to beat them over there, you know. Nah, yeah, I feel you, bro. And um, one thing that I take in uh, account with you is that whenever you get to doing what you want to do, I, one thing that I notice about you, you're really quiet. Yeah. Okay, you're very, very quiet. You don't really talk. You mm -hmm. stay to yourself. Right. But whenever it gets to the booth and whatnot, you got a lot to say. What, what's, what's that about, man? It's just, you know... Is this just a lot of build up energy or what? I guess you could say it. it's like, cause I'm kind of like shy with some people, but like with my friends, like, I'm you not You got a lot saying, of energy? Uh, yeah, I got a lot of energy with some people. It's just, I can't act the same way I do around a certain group of people. Cause it's like, I feel like you can't let everybody know how you really is, you know? Cause you could be anywhere with somebody. You just gotta wait to say your personality. Okay, okay. And um, also, you also gave me the, uh, the opportunity to record a music video for you and, uh, and we yeah. also got another music video on the way right, right, but right. um that cap talk music video talk about it man what was the um what, what was the what was the reason why you dropped the cap talk because i know i know why you dropped the cap i mean why you dropped the cap talk but what was the reasoning why you know what i mean all right so look it's like i dropped cap talk because obviously well basically let me let me say it like this my inspiration or not my inspiration the reason i want to rap it's basically for other people like me, you know. I'm from the hood and stuff, you know, Homestead, but I don't act like somebody that's from the hood. Yeah. Like, I don't say, like, I shoot people or kill people because I don't do that. And I want other people to know that you don't got to shoot people and kill people to be a rapper and be good with it. You don't have to talk about that stuff. You can still be good without it, you know. Hence, cap talk. Huh? Yeah. And I just, like, I don't like when people lie. Like, why you, why you doing it? You don't even got to do all that. You know? That's 75% of the industry nowadays, you know what I mean? Right. But it's just, like, Man, if you ain't never killed nobody, what's the point? Because if somebody run up on you, what you gonna do then? Nine times out of ten, you're gonna be scared. Mm -hmm. Somebody snatch your chain, what you gonna do? You ain't gonna do nothing. Right. You're gonna try to find their OG and get it back. Yeah. 
probably offer some money. <laughs> right, like, and then where your gun gonna be at then, so. Mm hmm It's crazy. Man. Nah, yeah, bro, but, uh, and another thing that, uh, so, like, what, but, like, you just mentioned your inspiration or not. What is your main inspiration? Like, who did you grow up listening to? Who who was it that told you, hey, maybe you should start rapping? What was who? What was that like? You know what I mean? Who talked about that, you know? Uh, I Let's get more into it. Back in elementary, I had this friend. He used to always rap. And then he told me I should start. So we started doing, like, little childish rap battles and stuff like that. And that's when I really knew that I, I wanted to be a rapper. But, you know, I didn't know how to record and stuff like that. So I was just write down stuff in a notebook for fun. Remember one time I was writing a rap and uh, they had cuss words in it and stuff. And then the principal came and she saw it, she took it up and I think I got in trouble for it. And I never got it back. So that song's just gone. That song gone? <laughs> yeah. That's like old school, that's a classic? Yeah. <laughs> Man, and how old are you? Uh, 17. You're 17 years right. old. So you're about to turn 18 years old. Yeah. And another thing that's common about me and you is we share birthdays. Oh yeah. You know, it's weird, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think, so. well it ain't weird, but I mean, yeah, you know, it's know. another thing. So whenever you turn 18, I'll be turning 23. Right. You know what I mean? So, yeah. But uh, not nah, for real. And then this year you're going to be 18. We should be ready to turn up. You know what I mean? Right, right. But um, shit, bro. Um, and your name's Stead Block Darius. Okay, so you're from Homestead. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what kind of style of rap do you listen to now that you're trying to push more, more towards? I really like. Because you mentioned King Vaughn. And I noticed your rapping style, you know, you got the energy that King Von kind of had, you know what I mean? Right, it's like, I like aggressive and fast flows, you know, like, okay, so look, when I first started rapping, I was listening to Take A, I liked them a lot, but then I tried to find Take A type beats, and I just, I couldn't do it, because the beats were too slow, I like fast type beats, so then I started listening to, like, T Grizzly, so that's really one of my main inspirations, T Grizzly, and I like how the aggressive and fast but you still hear what he's saying at the same time. Like, yeah. It's not mumble rap. He really just be talking, and you understand what he's saying. So okay. that's really my main inspiration, T. Grizzly. So I like that kind of rap, you know, the fast, aggressive flow. And uh, I noticed that you listen to all types of shit, and I noticed you did mention that you were versatile also, man. Right. Talk yeah. about that. You can do all types of shit when it comes down to this shit? Yeah, honestly, it's, it's like, I like using different flows and stuff like that, you know, different type of beats and experimenting, you know. Stuff like that, it's really, it's fun to me, you know, finding a different flow. Because I don't like, I really don't want to be the same on every song. And people can play one song and they feel like they heard everything from me. So I try to switch it up, you know. Okay. Okay. And, um, so, um, being from Houston, Texas, man, what's it like on, on you, you know what I mean? Because, like, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people downplay Houston, Texas. A lot of people look at Houston, Texas as, like, it ain't nothing, you know? Like, Houston just fell off, you know? But, like, what do you think about it? Mm, I really feel like Houston is really kind of, it's like, its own, like, its own country. It's like, we, in rap, you know, you got Sauce Walk and stuff like that. You know, we had DJ Screw, you know, legendary people like that. Nah, hell and, yeah, speak. You know, we had the slow down music, the chopping screw. People tried to steal that, you know? had Drake thinking he was from Houston and stuff. You know, we were real inspiration, I feel like. You know, we started like the double cup stuff like that. Yeah, we started to drink. Yeah. We started to <laughs> shit right. arguments cause we we probably started the swishy sweets on the <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> nah, but uh like um so you you wanna you wanna be what 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 type of genre do you wanna head towards in this shit? Cause bro, you are young man. You know yeah. you can think about it like if you want to be mainstream, like on the Travis Scott type level, or do you want to be, you know, on the cool, you know, ease, you know, sauce walker, you know, go yeah, or you know, fucking, you right. know, them dudes, you know what I mean? Honestly. What 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 are you pushing towards? I want to be up there, but I don't want to be like real mainstream, like you know, like like people like Quinn F and stuff like that. Okay, you know, they're known, yeah. Popular, but they're yeah. not like real mainstream. Yeah, kind of yeah, stuff yeah. Like no, fuck yeah. The ones yeah. that are like, kind of like in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, nah, that are pushing it, mm -hmm. but not pushing too much because yeah. they don't really want to be with all that extra right. bullshit and whatnot. And all the, uh, you know, the industry stuff like that. Yeah. I don't want to be in it. Nah, so you, you trying to be independent yeah. the whole way through? Yeah, really. But what if a record label hits you and they're they talking bread? It depends. I don't think 
if I had to, I don't think I'd take anything under four million. Cause like, you know, when you sign a deal, stuff like that, if they say you get one mil, you're not getting a full one mil. Nah, yeah. You're getting like half of it. So I really only so, sign. So you know you're gonna get like at least two mil, I think. Yeah, at least. But that's if I sign. It gotta be like a good deal with people I think I can trust. Cause you know, some people, people just lie, you know? So I just feel like how I'm, how I'm feeling about their personality and how they work. It just gotta be, it gotta, I gotta feel it, you know? Like, I just gotta like the people I'm working with, cause if not, it's not gonna work out. Nah, yeah, nah, I feel you, bro. And, um, so like, this next music video that we're gonna, that we're gonna do, it's coming out of that, uh, that, 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 that step block, that, that, the little volume one yeah. that you had dropped? Yeah, I was so, working on that for a while, it's like. But you say, you, you told me, you took you two weeks to put, to lay that shit down. Well, yeah, because, <laughs> you know, when I make songs, I just, it come to me naturally. Like, if I like the beat, I'm already be thinking of a hook. Uh -huh. And the verses, the verse is not that long. It's just, my first verse, I feel like that's always my best. And the second verse, it be good, but it don't ever be good as the first, so I probably got to work on that. Because, you know, I get lazier towards the second verse, and I just don't feel like writing no more, so, you know. And you, you a writer, you ain't a freestyler? Yeah, I, I write, I write. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't with that freestyling shit? I feel like, honestly, I feel like it take longer because, you know, when you're freestyling and, like, punching in and stuff, sometimes you don't get it right how you want to say it. You got to delete that and go back and do it again. I don't really like doing that, you know. I'd rather have it all written so I can know what to say. Okay, okay. Okay, so, um, and, like, uh, do you fuck with, like, the Sauce Walkers and, like, the fucking go yayos and whatnot like that? I mean... And the Queen and the Yeah, I like them. It's just, like... I probably couldn't see myself on a song with them because I feel like we don't got the same type of flow. But like, like Quinn, I could be, I could be on a song with him definitely. Yeah, but yeah, like, he he hard. So he got that. I don't know because they just like kind of rap chiller than me, you know. So I probably wouldn't be a good fit on a song with them. Do you fuck with the type of shit he be doing? Yeah, I like it. It's just because like, like he be I doing, he be doing outrageous type shit. You know what I mean? Like yeah, swinging around his fucking hood and shit like Go. that. You know. Going out to New York, you know, he's out here selling female. No, I wouldn't say selling you know. females, <laughs> but you know, you know what I'm saying. But yeah. like, and you, it's like uh, you find that shit like, um, I mean, I find that shit kind of amusing. You know what I mean? Sauce Walker's a, he's he's funny. You know, he hard to me because you know I'm just Houston. You know, that's just me. I feel you, and it's like that's kind of inspirational too. You know, I want to be like that. You know, with Stay Up Block. You know, when people mention Stay Up Block, I would be the first name they talk about. But you know, I don't want to be. I'm not trying to be like narcissist or something like that. I just, I just want us to be known, you know. Nah, yeah. And do you got any like people that rap like that you know that are probably around the, that are like around the area or whatnot? That that, that like you could probably like come up on. Uh. Cause you know if you're trying to start something up, you know what I mean. You want to be the main one to talk about. Right. You got the young troops. Uh, I got this one dude. My homeboy's name Jay Quan, and like. Yeah, give, really, some, give some shout outs or something, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know him. He like, he don't take it serious though, but I feel like if he did, me and him, we would be like a good duo, you know? Like that, you know, like Lil Tuzi and Quinn and Finn, you know? Okay, yeah. It would be like that. So, that will be cool, but you know, he just be playing around and stuff. Yeah, like, and you mentioned Lil Tuzi and Quinn. Do you fuck with that duo? Yeah, they, they are, you know? They complement each other's style, you know? It's just... Like they be flowing, they got good punch lines, stuff like that. All right, and so like this year, this year you gonna graduate high school? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, you gonna graduate high school. What you gonna do after that? You just gonna straight into fucking rap? Uh, yeah, but you know, I gotta get a job so I can afford to be able to get straight into rap, you know? Nah, so yeah, hell yeah. Cause you know, it's expensive and stuff with studio time, equipment, stuff like that. And it burns a lot of money, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Do you, do you want to do any shows or anything like that? Uh, yeah, of course. You know, I could do a show. It's it's crazy because you mentioned me being quiet, and like everybody always say that. Like, if somebody come over here, they'd be like, "Do this song freestyle," and I'd be like, "Nah." But if it's time to get on stage and do it, I'm you gonna do it, yeah? Yeah, I'm not gonna be shy on the stage. It's nah, just different. You that, know? This, this is pretty much like your future. You know what I mean? This like your dream. Cause you know, I feel like when people tell me to do it, I don't have to do it. But when I go to a show and get on stage, that's when it matters. Yeah. So I do have to do it. Yeah, this is your dream. Right. So, you know, this is what you want to do in the yeah. main and, and later on in life. So, 
later on in life, you know, right now, you know, doing these shows in front of 50, 60, shit, probably even 30 people, it wouldn't matter because, you know, if you can handle that little bit of shit, imagine standing in front of like 10,000 people, 5, yeah. 10, 15,000 people. I mean, that's yeah. a lot of motherfucking people. But, shit, you can hold, if you can hold your weight, you can do it. You know yeah. what I mean? Honestly, and it's like, I wouldn't really be shy in front of a lot of people because I feel like it'll be better, you know. That's just more people to sing my song, I'll be happy. Mm hmm. More people yeah. look you up, more right. people to get that motherfucking verification mm -hmm. started up. Yep. And I noticed that about you, bro. You got a lot of fucking followers on Instagram. You don't post that much. Uh, I mean, it's just You post media. every so it's often, then you delete. Or, or you'll just take it off. Right. You'll post. You post more on your story. <laughs> it's kind of just like, I really don't like being on social media. I don't be on there a lot. Like, I see some stuff occasionally, but like I barely open Instagram. Unless I'm texting somebody. You know, I got a group chat on there. So that's the only time I be on Instagram, you know. No, I don't either. really be doing people's stories and stuff like that. So I pretty much just got a lot of followers for no reason. But I got to change that since I want to rap, so I got to use them followers. Nah, hey, post a little snippet, get, yeah. start posting music videos, right. you know, shit like that. You know yeah. what I mean? Start getting them likes up, start getting, you know, promotions up, right. start posting shit on, you know, the YouTube, you right. know? Yeah. <clears throat> All types of shit. And uh, is there anybody you want to give a quick little shout out to or whatnot? Shout out to Cold Boys Entertainment, you know them. Cold Boys Ent, you know, yeah, yeah, follow them. Yeah. You know, Milo Films One Two Three, of course. You know, you know, my cousin Kirkman, you know. Shout out to him. Really, one of my inspirations for wanting to rap too, my cousin. You know, so shout out to him for sure. Nah, hell yeah, that's live as fuck, bro. Yeah. And I noticed that about you, you know, yeah, y'all got a lot of people that that are rapping in your family and whatnot. So you know, that's pretty good. Like yeah. we talked about it, you know, you got you got Kirk that raps, you got you that rap, yeah. and you got DB Camo that raps. You know what I mean? Right, just... And Camo does fucking graffiti, uh, like all types of shit. You know, he he be doing drawing and shit. Like, so if y'all want to fuck with him on the animation, y'all go fuck with him on the animation. Everybody who hit me up and they're like, hey, you know who does animation? I'd be like, hey, my boy DB Camo. You know what yeah. I mean? Because, like, I don't know anybody. I mean, I know other people, but I ain't finna send nobody else to anybody else because DB Camo does all my all my animation and whatnot. So I'm gonna send somebody. I'm gonna send them over there. You know what I mean? But, like, you need to fuck with him. You know, go Definitely. go hit up DB Camo for some right. shit. And, like, I was telling you, I feel like y'all two would be good on the song together. Yeah. You know what I mean? Maybe all three of y'all together. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, hell yeah, bro. So, like, I was telling you, bro, definitely, bro, start pushing more, post more, because that's yeah. going to be good. You got a lot of followers, yeah. so it's time to start adding it up, you know what I mean? Start yeah, lining shit up on that shit, you know? So, start posting shit, man, and, uh, you know, hit me up, you know, tag me in some shit. I'll post that shit on my story, man. And definitely, bro, just hit me up, fam. And uh, when it comes to that, like, promotion and stuff like that, that's, I really struggle with that because I don't really know how to do it. Like, you know, I don't want to just be a conversation saying go listen to my song, stuff like that. I'm the best rapper alive because that's oh, stuff kind of lame to me. Promotion's so. easy. Yeah, right. Yeah, all that shit's easy, bro. Like, especially for, like, Instagram and, like, YouTube and whatnot. All that shit is easy. Mm -hmm. Like, <clears throat> all you got to do is just fucking, like, it's all on the uh, on the settings and whatnot. Right. You know what I mean? Just go through the settings. You find all the promotions and shit yeah, like right. that. You right. can promote anything. You can promote a post. You yeah. can promote a story. You go on YouTube and promote a fucking video. You know yeah. what I mean? All that shit is easy. Just uh, find little shit that's in the fucking videos and promote it, you know what I mean? Right. Shit's easy. But hell yeah. So uh so you stay blocked Darius, bro. So tell them tell them where they can find you at on the gram, anywhere else. You know, on you know, SoundCloud, you know. Everything the same. Stay blocked Darius. It's the only name I go by. Anything else, not me. It's fake. So don't click on it. Spell it out so they know. S T E A D B L O C. K D A R I U S. Stay block Darius. Stay block Darius. Straight through. All right, stay block. I appreciate this sit down interview, yeah, man. You so know we locked in for shit show. Definitely. Just hit me up, man. And you already know we got we got a music video coming up next week, yeah. bro. So it's gonna be live in a bit. Yeah.